Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Friday, 15 July, sponsored by Kasambi. Lighting control for the modern world. Here are the stories making news. We spent most of the day yesterday pouring through the bankruptcy petition from Strand Lighting. It has to deal with asbestos litigation, and it appears that Strand, or Signify, just trying to protect themselves against future litigation due to the wiring in the strand light fixtures that contained or may have contained asbestos. Arclight Summit has named a few of their speakers, uh, Shoshana Seagull, Rachel Rouse, and Kay Sargent, to name a few. Shoshana will discuss tools for successful lighting control specification. Rachel and Kay will talk about the workplace going forward. Maui residents are considering a proposal that would ban outdoor lighting. The bill would limit most common types of outdoor lighting seen near homes, businesses, and sport complexes. I may have to go over there and check it out in person. On Designing Lighting, we link to a contest where designers can win a 3D printed ceramic pendant from a lighting manufacturer called Two Parts. They're created by architect Christo Logan. Lightronics International introduces their vivid LED frame, a design forward approach to standard flat panel illumination that's ideal for popular drop grid seating configurations. It's a cool looking product. Precision Architectural Lighting sent us a video on their Accentra wet location luminaire. And remember, it's free to post videos on edisonreport.tv. The Dow was down yesterday, 142, but the NASDAQ eked out a small gain, 3.60. Energy focus is down to 86 cents per share. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great weekend. Pray for peace.